There, there was a really bright flash. Oh. Smoke and ringing and flash. All I saw was white. And it was just a really loud, high pitch ringing. That felt like it was coming from my hands, but I could hear it in my ears. Like for two weeks in the hospital. No. Ready, man? I'll tell you what we're gonna do. We're gonna soak this now. Scary. Uh, uh, That's the scene from Just a Firecracker. Two buddies in a bomb. We just, uh, should warn you that there is um, some video that's a little graphic for the morning, but it really helps to highlight a point in advance of uh, Halloween. Andrew Naismith is the director of uh, Just a Firecracker, and Michael Hurley is the president of the BC Professional Firefighters Burn Fund. Thanks so much for coming in this morning, guys. Thanks for having so let's talk about the, the, the movie first off and, and, and the, the circumstances surrounding how this all happened uh, is interesting. So why don't you tell us how this all came together? Well, I got a call on October 31st, uh, or no, actually November 1st, 2004, um, from a surgeon at the hospital asking me to come down and bring my camera and just be ready to be humbled. Mm. And so when I arrived, I met Jared and Troy you can see in the video mm -hmm. and they had, had been playing with a pipe bomb and it went off uh, before they expected and ended up doing quite a bit of damage to their hands and face and arms and i guess mike that's where the the message lies here is just how dangerous uh, even the smallest of firecrackers can be well yeah it's important to realize that although this actual one is a pipe bomb the same type of damage can be done just with regular fireworks, uh, regular firecrackers. And uh, that's the message that we want to get out to uh, teenagers at this point. That Halloween's a fun time, but it can be a deadly time as well. Uh, Jared and Troy uh, and their families consented to have you shoot their, uh, the aftermath and the recovery process. And, and uh, talk about how their outlook on playing with these things changed after their ordeal. Well, I can tell you when they were lying in their hospital beds, I saw in their faces uh, regret, remorse, um, and they, they had no idea that something like this could happen. Mm -hmm. But uh, I followed them uh, since 2004, and we did some interviews last year and filmed a recreation of the scene which you saw. and. Uh, made a documentary for the burn fund to try to advocate safe uh, firework use. What's the reaction from people who see the video, especially kids, when they see it and, and realize just how dangerous activities can be and, and just a simple instant, you know, they could be without a finger or, or without a hand? Well, I, I think this video does a, an excellent job in, in talking to teenagers on their own terms. Mm -hmm. And uh, when they see this, they realize that uh, Hey, fireworks are a lot different than we thought they were. They're not just a toy. We had a, the story last night on our news hour about this, and, and the one thing that they brought out was the fact that the rules are so different between municipalities mm -hmm. around Metro Vancouver, and that's where lies the problem, that you can buy in one city and use in another, or use in one city, buy from somewhere. That's the problem. Is is, there, is, the, is the goal of the burn fund eventually to try and convince government to make it a, a blanket policy for fireworks in, in BC? Well, I don't think that uh, the, the role of the burn fund is to try and convince um, governments how to do their business, but uh, I think what we are trying to attempt to do is educate people mm. on the dangers of fireworks. And the reality is, no matter where they come from, kids are always going to fire. Find fireworks. And there's some safety tips, so that's part of the education. Uh, use fireworks outside. Don't relight them if they haven't worked because there's obviously something wrong with them. Have water handy. These are very common sense types of exactly. uh, tips. Um, remember, sparklers are hot too, so be careful if you're using those. Use them outside. And uh, most injuries from family and, and consumer fireworks involve misuse, so make sure you know what you're doing. Mm -hmm. Now, we're, this video will be shown in schools, is that the idea? Our ultimate goal is to put it out to the school board of BC, uh, perhaps Canada and beyond. Okay. And uh, this year we're doing a large online presence as well as uh, news coverage.
All right. Well, we appreciate you taking some time to join us, and it's a powerful video. And uh, thanks very much for uh, all the stuff that you do as well, Mike. Appreciate it. Thank you very much for having. Thanks, Jane. All right. Burnfund.org. Five minutes before eight. Yeah, it's coming up quickly, Mark. It certainly is. Uh, thanks very much, uh, guys. And. Um